Military expert, retired colonel of the armed forces of Ukraine, Roman Svitan, did not rule out that the Ukrainian defense forces have already entered the Belgorod region of the Russian Federation and may enter the Bryansk region, Channel 24 reports. It is recalled that Russia is transferring part of its troops to the Kursk region from the southern direction of the occupied territories of Ukraine. According to Svitan, it is quite possible that soon it will be possible to see the movement of the Ukrainian armed forces in the direction of the Polohi and Vasilyevka. It is likely that preparations for future counter-attacks are already underway. Fighting is already continuing in the Kursk region. There is an approach to the Belgorod region and an approach to the Bryansk region is possible, he said. The expert believes that the expansion of the bridgehead on Russian territory will allow the Ukrainian armed forces to significantly improve the situation in the Kharkiv region. The best option is to expand this bridgehead, enter Belgorod territory and cut off Russian wedges in the Kharkov region. Recently, Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance group attempted to enter the Klimovsky district of Russia's Bryansk Oblast, Governor Alexander Bogomaz claimed. Bryansk Oblast lies west of embattled Kursk Oblast, north of Ukraine's Chernihiv and Sumy Oblasts, and east of the Belarusian border. According to Bogomaz, Russian forces prevented the attack on the region and inflicted a military defeat on Ukrainian soldiers. Ukraine often launches tens of drones targeting Russia's western region of Bryansk. Kyiv has often said its strikes inside Russian territory are meant to undermine Moscow's war effort and are in response to Russia's relentless air attacks on Ukraine's energy, military and transport infrastructure. Recall Ukrainian forces launched the Kursk attack on August the 6th, taking Moscow by surprise. Fighting is underway between Kyiv and Moscow forces in the region. The Ukrainian attack came after weeks of military setbacks in the eastern Donetsk region. One of the reasons is to seize the initiative, Sean Bell, a retired fighter pilot and military analyst, said, explaining that there is a very long border between the two countries and it's evident that they can break through. Secondly, Ukraine's move demonstrates that Russia does not control this war alone. Ukraine is clearly taking the reins here, Bell said. Crews in Wise County responded to a fatal crash where four people died, and ten people were injured. The crash happened at US Highway 287 and FM 1655. According to Wise County officials, a 15-person passenger van occupied by 14 people seemingly rolled over multiple times. According to the initial 911 call, several people were ejected from the van. All of the 14 involved are adults, according to the Texas Department of Public Safety. Investigators on the scene said the severity of injuries ranged from the walking wounded to critical condition. Texas Department of Public Safety spokesperson Tony De La Cerda said the 15-passenger Chevy Express 3500 has Florida license plates, although investigators don't yet know where it was traveling to. The vehicle left the roadway, the driver overcorrected, causing it to lose control of the vehicle, which caused the vehicle to roll over multiple times, De La Cerda said. The investigation is ongoing. The victims' names have not yet been released. DPS is working with the Medical Examiner's Office, EMS, and hospitals to identify everyone involved. Their identities will be released after next of kin have been notified, according to authorities. T was traumatic for people driving by, including Paige Caffrey, who got emotional while recalling what she saw on her way to work at Alsips. I saw a bunch of cop cars and the fire truck, the ambulance. There was a helicopter that was landed, Caffrey said. Then I saw the car accident. It was pretty awful. I saw a body. Wise County EMS officials said several ambulances, medical helicopters, and the Alvord Police and Fire Departments responded to the mass casualty incident.